Friendly greetings, it's your video tutor, tutorially, <laughs> we can call it that, and we can call this cartooner. It's from newblueeffects.com forward slash cartooner. It's a free plugin which makes your videos, any video you feed into a host, we'll get to that shortly, look like ah, it's animated. You may have seen an effect like this painstakingly rotoscoped in a scanner darkly. I liked it very much because I'm a big fan of PKD, Philip K. Dick, or perhaps in, I think it was Richard the Link later. I think I'm pronouncing his name wrong, but also in Waking Life. I didn't like that one too much. I fell asleep, but I did like scanner darkly and you will like doing an effect like this. So if you ever wondered, ah, oh, how do you get that effect similar to it much faster? You want to come here before I go on. I must disclaim <laughs> that I love these new blue effects so much. Let me go to the main page that not only did I buy them, I ended up working for new blue effects as part of the team. Woohoo. So yes, I'm currently consulting and there are tons of things for motion blends. Like you can get film effects, the shaky camera. Oh, video essentials. That's a cool one. That's well, very practical stuff, your bread and butter, but you need that as well as the more esoteric materials. So come and check it out. But before you do any of that, you may want to, like I said, check out the free cartooner. If you use Sony Vegas, that's the host I'll be showing you. But any of these, some are on Mac supported as well, will work. Right? Uh, selection there, isn't it? So you can read the ad copy. It makes it very clear what you're going to set out to accomplish within a matter of a few seconds. It's really easy. And that's one of the strong, I would say, selling points. <laughs> well, let's hop and pop. Oh, these are some examples, by the way, if you want to see this, check this out too. And then we're going to hop and pop into Sony Vegas. So this is where I am now. If you're wondering who that is, that's Matt Harding from where the hell is Matt.com. Yes, it's quite viral as I play this. I had an opportunity. These things only come along once in a lifetime. And you may have seen his recent video in which he purports it to be a hoax, but I am not an animatronic mannequin. Ah, uh, yay for obscure references. So this is pretty much the default layout. Of course, I customize it a bit. I like this being yellow and black. It's easier in my eyes. And if you have it set up like this, you can go to, once you have it installed, make sure it's in there, you can go to the video effects and you'll notice I got tons of new blue effects, lots of awesome stuff. Among them, of course, is the cartooner. And right here, it shows the presets of what each one does, the AB comparison, which is really nice. And it's super easy. Watch how quick this is. I'm just going to click and drag it onto the clip and then it gets applied just like that. These are the controls. Oh, I just drag that widget a little bit. I'll move this closer. It's a bit touchy that way, isn't it? And you can select for one of the presets. It's the same ones as in there. Or you can take the liberty of just adjusting these parameters. Now, each one of them, they're explained in help. If you need more details, go there. But it's really helpful to just intuitively play with the controls like that. And say we get a setting that we like. I'll sharpen that a bit. Yeah, like kind of like an outline, a fringe. Maybe that's too much. So just dial it down. Blend will blend between the original, like that, and full on 100% is Toto Cartoonscape. And a mix may be suitable for a lot of materials. Go ahead and experiment. It's really easy to do. And once you're like that, you can just close it out and hey, play and preview it in real time in Vegas. So it's running a bit slow there. Let me go ahead and change the preview mode to, I think, either auto or half. I'll try half and see how that runs. I can render it, pre-render. Oh, there we go. Okay, so as you could see, I have been cartoon animated. And I feel I'm lacking some detail. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally doing the dance with them. <laughs> That's so cool, isn't it? I can, there's another thing in Vegas, sometimes overlooked, but I'm really fond of it. I, if you select a portion of the track, like this, then you can go to tools menu and you can, well, you can go ahead and build a dynamic RAM preview. Helps to have a lot of memory to do that, of course. And I do that a lot. So I'm just going to press shift B right now and it's going to run through it. So what it does is what well, pre-renders it and then you can watch it at real time smooth like that. Cool, eh? <laughs> Anytime you want to change it, you can always right click and select the video event effects 
and you can go ahead and change whatever. Oh, oh, come on now. That is a bit tricky. I wish that part of Vegas. There we go. Give me back control. Pencil test. There's a lot of creative ones. This is kind of like more of a black and white sketchy, radioactive, radioactive. Oh, no, nightmares. But a lot of variations you can get out of this. Now, do know when you run this first upon starting it up, when you're in a session, it's going to show you a reminder to check out more new blue effects plugins. It's not meant to nag you. It's meant to encourage you <laughs> to check out more awesomeness. So yeah, that's really how you use it. And if you want more plugins, come to newblueeffects.com. And there are bundles, some really great bundles. That's what I went for, okay? So I am not just, if this was the hair club for men, women, androids, whatever. There's special offers. I went for the big bundle of all these sorts of things because I really do love the diversity. You may not need it, but I certainly do. It's got all sorts of crazy things. Like I mentioned, both the more esoteric and aesthetic adjustments to really bread and butter staples that you'll need. And you can just check all this out. There are a lot of previews. It's just so much fun because you can add a lot of pop and spice. And if you know me from Second Life, doo -doo -doo, you also know that you can add this to various types of machinima. It's great for that as well. Whatever you can come up with, it's really well suited to da -da -da, experimentation. So I hope you enjoy this video tutorial. Check it out new blue effects forward slash cartooner no e so that's kind of like flicker i guess it's very web 2.0 thing <laughs> enjoy